I want to discuss the personal relationship Christ would have had with Paul. And I think this is kind of new. I don't really hear about this perspective. It's always about us and our relationship with God. What about the other way around? I think uh, Paul, before he repented and was saved, he was somebody who believed he was righteous, that he was serving God. He was listening to the false teachers and he believed. And that's why he persecuted these heresies of Christ. That's why he persecuted his brothers and sisters, right? And God saw this, obviously. What would you do as God when a man so completely devoted for you is against you? Christ appeared before him and blinded him. I think that has to happen out of love. Like, you as the all-knowing God, obviously, would know that eventually, when this man, if you don't do anything, if you don't, like, stop him, this man who is so devoted for you will be revealed to be completely against you. Like, what kind of a horrible destruction in hell would that be for somebody like Paul? He's putting all this work in for his own destruction. God, who is the God of love, obviously does not want this to happen. Like, this is something that he stops, and Paul does a complete 180. And he is so happy. Even though the worst kinds of punishments of the world are falling on him, he's in dungeons, and he's singing praises of God. He's telling the churches he found that my happiness is in you. Like, he's so happy. Like, he is completely in love. And that's the takeaway message here. The, without love we are nothing. With love we are everything. And that's uh, what God put in him. I think God is very proud of the emissary of Gentiles. And I think that's why pride is a sin. So the Father can be proud of us instead, which is much better than us being proud of ourselves. Like, that's a real story of salvation. Maybe we should think about what is Christ's relationship with us. And maybe we should learn from Paul. And we can also love him back because of the work he put in for us. 